and a, a lot of other problems. I'm Evan Rosen. I'll have a live report. To shut down abortion clinics across the nation has reached the halfway point. Most of the activity in San Jose today took place outside Planned Parenthood on the Alameda. Some 250 protesters marched peacefully in front of the clinic, with more than half supporting abortion rights. Planned Parenthood officials said the crowds failed to turn away any patients and confirmed abortions are scheduled at the clinic tonight. The two sides also met at the nearby home of a doctor where Saturday's arrests were made. Police report no arrests today. The abortion issue has made its way into a San Jose courtroom. Evan Rosen joins us now live from the Santa Clara County Superior Court with the story. Evan. That's right, Michelle. A Superior Court judge says he will rule on Thursday whether to grant a temporary restraining order that Operation Rescue wants. The order would effectively prevent police from making arrests, from arresting protesters who demonstrate within 300 feet from doctors' homes, doctors who perform abortions. And joining me now is Craig Cornell, who's the attorney for the plaintiffs in this case. What is the constitutional issue here that uh, has brought you to court? The constitutional issue is whether in a residential zone, sidewalks are afforded the same protection for free speech as they are in every other part of the country. And the Supreme Court has already said that sidewalks, even in residential zones, are places where free speech is given the most protection. Now, on the flip side of it, I guess the judge is going to have to weigh the privacy concerns of the doctor versus your concerns on constitutional grounds. What about the privacy concerns? The privacy interests of the doctor have already been weighed by the U.S. Supreme Court in a case called Schultz v. Frisbee. And in that case, the Supreme Court said that the privacy interests of the doctor begin to rise if you're just standing in front of his residence and making him feel like a captive. But as long as you're moving, you can be in a residential zone, even if the target of the picketing is a doctor that performs abortion or somebody else that's being protested by people. Do you have a feeling for how this is going to go? The judge was fair in the way he handled his questioning. He asked the right questions, and we can only hope that the Constitution and free speech prevail. All right, Craig Cornell, thank you very much. Now, the uh, pro-life side says that however the judge decides on this case, it will be a very important precedent for uh, other jurisdictions as well where this kind of thing is going on. I'm Evan Rosen, live at Superior Court. Back to you, Pete and Michelle. Evan, any indication from the city of San Jose if they're willing to step away from this ordinance at all? No, at this point the city has made uh, no comment on that, but we are going to talk with the chief of police and we'll have his comments for you tonight at 11. Okay, Evan Rosen, thank you. Along the same lines, a bill to outlaw picketing of physicians' residences statewide by groups like Operation Rescue, simply an extension of the San Jose law, was defeated today by the Assembly Public Safety Committee. And it looks like... The targeted residential picketing law is tonight under legal scrutiny. Operation Rescue is asking a Superior Court judge here for a temporary restraining order. It's to keep police from enforcing the law. Beth Willon is in the newsroom now with more. Beth? Casey, attorneys for Operation Rescue and the city battled it out in court instead of the street today. They went before a Superior Court judge. Judge Jeremy Fogel says what is at issue is the constitutionality of the picketing ordinance, whether it's abortion protesters or war protesters. The law keeps picketers 300 feet from a targeted residence. The dispute surfaced Saturday when 16 Operation Rescue protesters were arrested while picketing in front of a San Jose doctor's home. Police allege Operation Rescue targeted the doctor's home with leaflets, giving his name, address, and the abortion clinic where he works. Operation Rescue says the arrests violate their free speech rights. We're contending they didn't violate the Constitution by stopping in front of the place. Uh, the, de the whole, the nub of the case is in how can you define targeting. The arrest was based upon the picketing conduct that was targeted at a particular residence, which included the fact that there were leaflets demonstrating that it was targeted at a particular residence. Now, the judge will have a decision on the temporary restraining order by Thursday at the latest. Operation Rescue is scheduled to leave San Jose this Sunday, so this will likely not get resolved before they leave. Operation Rescue says it's the principle of the law that they're concerned about. How are police planning to handle it until the uh, decision is made on this restraining order? Well, right now they can go on as they always have been. Uh, they can uh, practice the law as they always have been because nothing has been issued, Stacy. So they'll just go on. It'll be business as usual. All right. Thanks, Beth. Well, day five of Operation Rescue's campaign in San Jose is low-key compared to yesterday's explosive skirmish at a South San Jose clinic. 
Pro-choice and anti-abortion demonstrators have been in front of a Planned Parenthood clinic since 8 this morning, and that's where Alicia Rivas has been as well. She joins us now live with an update. Alicia. Doug and Stacy, there's only a sparse crowd here now at the Planned Parenthood clinic here on the Alameda. Uh, almost all of the people that are here right now are pro-choicers. There was a small band of anti-abortionists here a little while ago, but they seem to have left. Operation Rescue has not been seen since about 3.30 this afternoon. And that's a little puzzling for the people who are here because abortions are being performed inside the clinic right now. They schedule them between 4 o'clock in the afternoon and 8.30 on Tuesdays. And uh, there's no sign of Operation Rescue. That adds to the tension to the people who are here. Pro-choicers have spent the day braced for a fight that so far hasn't come. Day 5 of Operation Rescue brings more prayers to San Jose. After having 37 of its members arrested at a demonstration last night, Operation Rescue was at this Planned Parenthood clinic on the Alameda bright and early. Pro-choicers were right alongside, alert for any change in Operation Rescue's plans. We're ready to move, but, you know, we try not to get too scattered because then, you know, you lose communication. We want to have, like, a base group everywhere. But it was here Operation Rescue members recited their prayers and made attempts at sidewalk counseling. So I know why you're here if you're here to have an abortion. For most of the day, even the attempts at counseling were low-key. These people got out pretty late last night from jail. Uh, they, I think they were released around 2 o'clock. And uh, we're just having a relaxing morning just here at the clinic to, you know, offer help to women who are in crisis. Um, pregnancy situations and also to elevate awareness to the neighbors. Apparently, the clinic's neighbors weren't the only ones Operation Rescue had in mind. A doctor street was also picketed. It's the same doctor Operation Rescue targeted on Saturday. That resulted in more than a dozen arrests. This time, there were no arrests. As of last week, they targeted a specific residence on this block. However, today, none was specifically targeted, and that is the key word in this ordinance. As the afternoon wore on, traffic to the clinic picked up, and so did Operation Rescue's attempts at sidewalk counseling. Open, open the line. The clinic here is open until 8.30 tonight. There are several others in San Jose that are open until about 8 o'clock, but this is the only place where abortions are being performed. The other clinics are offering family planning clinics. And all of the patients that were here earlier today who received sidewalk counseling from Operation Rescue were here for family planning. None of those patients were here for abortions. So, Doug and Stacy, day five of the Cities of Refuge campaign on uh, San Jose has been uncharacteristically quiet, and all of the people here are wondering what's to come. Okay, thank you, Alicia. Well, Alicia's reporter mentioned arrests. All but one of the 37 anti-abortion protesters arrested last night have been cited and released from jail. The Operation Rescue protesters were picked up for trespassing in front of the Pan Planned Parenthood clinic near Oak Ridge Mall. The Reverend Sanford Warner was arrested twice in a 24-hour period and had to stay in Elmwood Jail. The one person that we did keep was kept uh, under the provision for likelihood of reoccurrence of a crime, even though he might otherwise normally qualify for sight and release. This person has also been arrested. Uh, this was a twice, uh, the second time, excuse me, in two days. Warner will be arraigned tomorrow. The rest of the Operation Rescue protesters, including the 16 arrested on Saturday, will be arraigned between September 10th and September 14th. Our Cities of Refuge coverage doesn't end here. If there are any breaking developments, we'll bring them to you right away, and we'll have a complete wrap-up of the evening's activities tonight on KNTV News Nightside at 11.